In Britain this year, 6,000 men booked in for a hair transplant. And technology has more than kept up with demand. This is Artas, a new robotic surgeon, and only one of two in the UK. Scott, a 41-year-old father of two from Liverpool, is one of only 250 men to be treated by it this year. I am a little bit apprehensive today, to be fair. Um, going into this room and seeing this machine, it's absolutely massive. I am a bit wary how much it's going to hurt. Remind me again, how old are you? Uh, 41. 41? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So. Almost one in two men experience hair loss by the time they're 35. Touch this up a little bit. In my 20s, when I started receding, I was devastated. I automatically felt older. I felt like I, I aged 10 years, and that just progressively got worse. You know, my confidence was coming down more and more the longer I was leaving, getting treatment. We've been battling hair loss for thousands of years. Julius Caesar hid his with a laurel wreath, while Louis XIII had wigs created to cover his bald head. In the 1900s, we tried suction caps, which claimed to draw blood to the surface and stimulate hair growth. We've since tried everything from comb-overs, pills and potions to sprays, until finally the early transplants of entire plugs of hair. Even today, hair transplants are no quick fix. Scott had his first one two years ago. But for the final treatment, Dr Fajo wants to use the new robot. It's not necessarily better than a human, but it's more efficient, it doesn't get tired, it keeps going, and of course there's going to be variation from one practitioner to the other. Scott's hair is shaved because it's easier for the robot to extract grafts when hair's short. A grid's fitted to where the grafts will be removed, and a local anaesthetic means he won't feel a thing. Each graft is a small piece of skin containing the hair follicle. A follicle is a bag-like cover which protects the roots, and each follicle can hold up to four hairs. The average person has around 100,000 follicles on their head. But if you're blonde, you can have as many as 150,000. In some men, hormones cause the follicles to shrink. So as the next new hair grows, it's thinner than the last, and eventually all that's left is a much smaller follicle and a thin stump of hair that doesn't grow out to the skin's surface. The robotic arm takes pictures, about 50 pictures per second, of the hairs, analysing them, deciding which ones it wants to remove, but also it calculates the angle at which the hair is coming out and the direction the hair is pointing so that it can extract the graft whole. What I'm doing, I'm monitoring, seeing what, what it's doing. So the green one is the one that it's about to remove. The purple one is the one that it's going to remove afterwards. So I'm keeping an eye on all that and if there's anything that I, I think is going to do next that I don't want it to do, then I could instruct it to skip. The robot can extract a thousand grafts an hour, almost twice the speed of a human. It leaves them on the surface of the scalp where they're collected by hand and categorised according to the number of hairs in each follicle. The robots removed 1,350 grafts, and each one is individually implanted by hand back into his scalp. It's all taken five hours. Follicles don't rely on a blood supply or nerves to survive, so they can be replanted anywhere on the head. Are you ready to have a look, Scott? Absolutely dying to see. Have a look. <sighs> I just can't believe think? it. Fantastic. Absolutely exactly what I wanted. It looks pretty busy. We managed to pack a lot of hairs in there. As they settle, the follicles merge with the patient's tissues. The shock of being moved causes the existing hair to break off, allowing new hair to grow in its place. 
two decades of losing my hair, being concerned. I just feel now, you know, that has just totally gone out the window. So for me, so, so excited. Another patient recently went from this to this in just 12 months. So Scott won't have too long to wait before he has a full head of hair again. 